Hi guys, I'm on holiday. I'm thinking about making another sailing boat because we're down by the sea. So I've used some Gorilla Glue and glued these cans together. Just about see the Gorilla Glue through there. But I then put tape around them as well. I'll probably put duct tape over them to give them extra strength. And I've tried sealing the end of the can by putting Gorilla Glue in there and that's it letting it foam up. So that's as far as I've got at the moment. It really depends on the weather, whether I bother doing any more work to it or not. But general idea is I'll tape these together for the hull. I've got some flower canes that I'll use as masts and also as the keel and I've got some fishing weights that I can use the ballast to hold the keel down in the water. So we'll see. In my kit bag I just happen to have some duct tape, or as they call it here, reinforced tape, Poundland Finest. So we'll give that a try. I happen to have some Bamboo barboo. Start that again. I happen to have some bamboo sticks here, 60 centimeters each, from Poundland Garden Canes. So I'm going to use them, or at least one of them, for the mast and also to come down underneath for the keel. Well, the mast is fairly simple. Just push that straight through where the join between the cans is and through the duct tape. The keel, what I'm thinking of doing is taking this one, bending it right over in the loop, pushing it down through there and then back up through there and then put tape round it to give it a shape or a yeah a flat shape and then put some lead weights on the bottom of it. There we are. So I shall tape it to the mast here, top and bottom, and then put tape across it. It makes a, a keel. I've got some fishing weights that I shall tape to the bottom here. I've done a bit more work on the sailing boat. You can see I've put duct tape round it to join the two sections together, strengthen it, and we've got the mast which I think might be a bit too springy but we'll see it's one of those garden canes and then I also bent another one of the bar garden canes into a loop so that's taped there and there to the mast and then the other end goes through there and then I've actually put some Gorilla Glue to actually lock it, lock it in place and then here I've actually used some uh, empty cans of beans metal cans flatten them to fill in the gap there and then put lots of duct tape around it and down here I've got three lead fishing weights. I think they were four ounces each, so we've got 12 ounces of lead weight in the bottom there. Again, duct tape holding it all in place. So that ought to hold it upright in the water. And the next thing we'll have to do is make a mast out of, not mast, sorry, make a sail 
out of probably a bin liner, plastic bin liner or something like that. We'll just go for an ordinary triangular sail. I'll use another cane for the whatever this bit's called that comes out on the bottom of the mast and the bottom of the sail. Is that the jib? Can't remember. I'm not a sailing person myself. I think I'll just use a single triangle. We could have another bit out the front here. But I think I'll just go for a single triangle at the back there. We need a bit of string on the back of it and attach it to here somewhere so we can adjust it so it can go into the wind or away from the wind. And then we should be able to chuck it in the sea and see what happens. The plastic bag I'm using to make the sail isn't very strong so I've put a layer of duct tape on both sides where it's going to go up the mast and then I'll put some strength along the bottom and then a couple more bits across this way and I've got some cable ties that I'm going to use to actually attach it to the mast using that loop. So I'll actually tape them, duct tape them onto the sail. and also onto the jib or whatever it's called, the bit that goes along the bottom. Well, it's ready to go. It's about half past nine in the morning. There's not many people down on the beach and there's not much wind. So we're gonna try it. Before we go, I'll just show you at the back, I've glued two bits of um, cane in the middle there so we can figure eight that bit of string around it to tension it and that goes to the end of the um, sail to the jib I think it's called and I've also stuck the waterproof camera on there I don't know if that will unbalance it, we'll find out and I'm going to go out and stand in the sea and use my wife's waterproof camera just in case we drop it in the sea. <laughs> 